thing. Let's talk about the area of a circle. So again, we're going to use a formula here. And understanding why we use this formula is a bit more complicated. I'm not going to go real um, deep into that. But let's say we know right here what this radius is. We get this information. We know that this is equal to 4 something. Okay. And so we have a formula to solve for this. We want to find the area. Remember, circumference equals around the outside. Area equals how much space is this circle? What if I have a, a circle room and I'm buying carpet for that? Something like that. How much are we filling up? So let's check it out. Area equals pi r squared. So again, we know that pi stands for 3.14. And we would multiply that by the radius 4 squared. Our exponents, which you guys love, which I didn't do a good job of writing. Squared, there you go. So first thing I do if I solve this would say this part right over here. Let me do 4 squared. So I'd have 3.14 times 4 squared, which is going to be 16. Because 4 times 4 is 16. Remember, it's not 4 times 2. And then from here, I'm saying what's 3.14 times 16. And trying to get my answer. This time, I'll remember to move over two spots. 6 and 4 is 24. 6, 7, 8, 18, 0, 4, 1, 3. When I bring it down, I should get 4, 12, 0, and I believe 50.24 if I did that correctly. And I think I did. So 2 over would be 50, sorry, 0.24 would be the area um, when we go in here and we solve for this. 50.24 inches squared when we solve for the area of our circle. So again, the formula is a bit harder to, to uh, go into. I'm not going to go into why we use this radius squared and, and all that. Um, it has to do with um, kind of a bunch of um, problem solving and, and, and trying to figure out how you could come up with a formula to figure out the area. Um, it's not as, as easy and as clean as when you figure out how you can do a rectangle or a triangle or something like that. But when you do circles, pi is going to show up. Remember this right here, pi. Right over here, maybe you've seen the movie Life of Pi about the, the boy in the ocean. and You could remember most of the numbers there for pi. Um, but something like that. Remember, circle is going to use that. And these formulas you'll have access to, but it's just realizing how we can use those. All right, last question real quick. And we'll finish up. What is the area of a circle with a diameter of 12 centimeters? Well, let's draw this circle. They didn't even give us a circle. So I draw the circle. We want the area. We want the inside area equals, what's that formula again? Pi r squared. Pi r squared. All right, cool. Uh, we know the diameter. The diameter, remember, is the distance from here to here, center, is 12. We know all this equals 12. Well, we don't have diameter, we just have radius in the uh, formula. Well, uh, I, we can figure this out because radius is just going to be half of the diameter. So um, we know if I split this in half right here, half of 12, I should have 6 here and 6 here. Radius would equal 6. So now I have the information I need. So the area is going to equal 3.14 times 6 squared when I do this. So let's solve it. Well, 6 squared, if we start there, gets me 36, and I'm still multiplying that by 3.14 area equals. So we can solve this and finish it out by saying what's 3.14 times 36. Do our multiplication and finish this thing out. Let's bring this over here, two spots. 6 and 4 again is 24, carry the 2. 6, 7, 8... 18, 0, 3 times 4 is 12, carry the 1, 3, 4, and then 9 here. As I bring them down, I should get 4, 0, 8, and I think that's 13, 9, 10, 11, as I solve this right over here. So again, it was 3.14 times 36, and one thing I am forgetting is to bring my decimal back two spots. 113 and four hundredths 
and we didn't have units here, but let's let's say uh, oh centimeters. We did centimeters squared would be the final. So I'm just using my formula though, right over here. They're going to give you the radius or the diameter, and then you can just work it out. If you get the diameter, you just half that and go. So the main thing is to remember your your uh, you'll have your formulas. That's not something you necessarily need to commit to memory, but remembering that pi is 3.14. Um, and that's what you're going to use when you go in and solve for area of a circle and we take it all the way back and we say uh, circumference and area circumference of a circle right over there.